Our food is so dictated on what can distribute, what can fit in the box, what ships well, what their shelf life is. I just didn't like the idea that my food was dictated on what can distribute well. Like they're very ephemeral, they're, they don't last long. You have to harvest them at the right time. But that's definitely why I love mushrooms is because it forces like us to eat locally and I think that's how you're supposed to eat anyways. So it started with when I was a kid, my, my grandparents came from Vietnam and they're, they're used to growing stuff. So I remember in my backyard there was like watermelons and my grandparents were like making their own tofu and there was fruit trees and we just had it all. As a kid I thought it was weird though, like it wasn't something that, I, like I wasn't excited to bring my friends over and show them all these weird things that are growing in my backyard. But I think like once we started to kind of look at our food and what kind of food we're eating and where it comes from. Um, that's kind of where it's, it was sparked. And mushrooms were something that's been on my list for a while. Like I did a lot of research about it, but I never actually got my hands on it and, and tried to do stuff. But because of the pandemic, I had time on my hands and I thought I'd give something new a try. And that's kind of where it all started. We grew our first mushroom, which was an elm oyster mushroom, which is crazy. It's actually in our production line right now. We sell at a farmer's market right now. A few weeks later, we got one tiny mushroom out of that, all that work. I was like, this is crazy. Like, this is way too hard. Like, that's not worth the time and the effort. And then I was like, I want to grow one more. I want to give it one more go. And it was peak oysters. And we grew it out and it took, and then we cooked it up and tasted it. And I was like, this is so good. Why don't, why can't we find big oyster mushrooms in the supermarket? Then you find out, okay, they have like a three day shelf life. Then they start reeking, like they smell so bad. Makes sense, they can't put it on the shelves. Um, but what if we grew them and ate them ourselves? Because we can have them fresh, like I can grow them, they're fresh, we can eat them that morning. And it just took off from there. Wanting to grow more varieties. And then thinking these are so delicious to share with family and friends, and then family and friends became neighbors, and then neighbors became, well, like, I want to buy them from you, how can we buy them? We're selling them out of our garage for a little while. There was racks like these um, in there, there was a one 10 by 10 in there, and then that's pretty much it, like you cannot see anything else. We did have a uh, some chef supporters in the very beginning, one of them was actually uh, Chef Janice, uh, who is a pretty big person in Long Beach who has passed away, uh, rest in peace. She, she believed in us from the start, which was pretty cool. Like, there wasn't a lot, like, I thought it was fun and I thought it was exciting and I knew our neighbors and friends liked it, but when, like, a chef comes to you and says, like, hey, your product's awesome and I want to use it, like, that gives you a whole different sort of confidence boost. Like, I never thought about restaurants and chefs. Like, I wanted to be the guy at the farmer's market that our neighbors came and bought mushrooms. Well, not necessarily mushrooms at the time, but just bought stuff from. My only dream was I want to grow enough mushrooms to be at one farmer's market and I'll be happy. Um, it's obviously grown more than that because we're in six markets now, but um, that's, that was my dream in the beginning, yeah. We don't really get to see where our food comes from. And automatically that's a pretty big disconnect. Like there's a reason why we feel so good when we can go to a farm or, you know, why we get excited when we find out, oh, this is grown in our city. Um, or, you know, or people who grow food themselves at home. It's definitely that, you know, 
they're fresh, so they're more, they taste better, but also like that connection that you have to the food um, is something that gets lost when you can't really see it uh, or know where it's coming from. Like it's so cool when we can open our doors and say, hey, come in, check out where your food's grown, where your mushrooms are grown. People love it. And there's a reason why, it's because they want to be connected to their food. And unfortunately, a lot of our supply chain doesn't allow us to do that. Like the mushrooms itself, they're definitely cool and I like to eat, like they're delicious and all that stuff. But the cool thing is like kind of what they force us to do, which is like, you're not gonna, you're not gonna put me in a box for two weeks and ship me across the ocean. It's not gonna work. You gotta harvest me and then sell me pretty quickly or else I'm gonna go bad. <laughs> so they force us to do the things that we should be doing. Um, which is growing in the place that people are gonna eat the food at. If we get kind of creative and we find the things that we can grow well in the city, I think there's a lot of potential out there.